Lepas itu mungkin kita umi Chin TV sahaja tu lah. Chin TV kan ada tu nanti zaten. Ah Chin TV International ni nak kunjungkan lagi saya. Tu isun kalau umna ke ah USA lagi tempi umna Chin Capital City pekat dia kan kau cakap umi Indianapolis si. Hi kena kin ah Chilean Asia Grocery demi umi. Hi nak kau tunggu kau jauh lah. Chin Brothers Restaurant Grocery demi lah ah Rodol lagi dor umi. Kalau umur lama tu n Saraga to me International Asian Grocery to me He not fungi Like me Tampi umkom na mwana si E tu su na USA Kan ton ring tell me At hai chen US Canada le Europe lami umpo le Kan ton ring ring mi le Ti enung zan mi Identity theft Personal information Online sin si se So la le phone sin si se So la le kalay inna Ma do ri lak rai Ah Nan personal information nak dilihat tu dengan om tel. Jadi tu jadi ni sih kan kamu dengi jadi lu sih dia om temi ka. Ah, ini Indiana Police Greenwood dia om dia Police Officer tu interview nak kan ni dengi kan ni tu tu nazar ten sampai kita langsung dengi kan lau soal ni saya nanti temi information kami dengan kerak share dengi ah kan lau dia sih kan long oi. Hi, Officer Main, what's your name? My name is Mike Hewitt. I'm a public information officer for the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. Thank you so much for that. And I want to ask you, what is identity theft? Identity theft is when someone assumes your identity. They become you on paper. Um, and they do that as a means to basically steal from you, to steal the wealth that you may have in a bank account, to um, rack up credit card debt in your name and stick you with the bill after they've gone out and purchased the things they want to purchase. Okay, thank you so much. And what identity theft affects my family and of course myself? Certainly. Well, I identity theft can affect your family by taking your money mm -hmm. um, and we all need our money. Yes. We all know that. Mm -hmm. And it can hurt your credit. So if you wanted to you know, buy a house for your family, um, and you have a bad credit rating because of identity theft, then that could certainly, you know, um, be a hardship on you and your family. Um, what it can also do is uh, affect you getting a job, you know, again, with bad credit. If you have bad credit, some employers, they won't want to hire you because they look at you as a credit risk and, and they're afraid that, uh, you know, maybe you won't be a loyal employee. So, officer, what can I do to prevent from identity theft? One of the uh, best ways that I can tell you to work toward preventing identity theft is only carry essential documents with you. Um, if, unless you're going to apply for a job or, or for something where you need your social security card, lock that away in a, a bank de safety deposit box or somewhere because that gives thieves access to who you are and through the federal government. So don't carry your social security card with you unless you're going somewhere where you know you're going to need it. Also, don't carry extra credit cards. Um, if you're going somewhere where you're going to use a specific credit card, carry that one with you. Um, also, another thing to remember is your trash is a thief's treasure. The trash that you put out, if it has documentation of who you are with your um, bank statements, it'll have your name, your address, your credit card numbers, all those things on there. Thieves can get access to that. And one of the things that they'll do is they will actually call the credit card company and they'll try to change your billing address. So when you do get your monthly statements, or if you use a credit card or your bank statements, always be sure that you have the proper billing address on there and it's the one that you're currently living at. That's a, that's a flag, so to speak, a, a sign that something's gone wrong if that, if that is num, um, changed. Um, and, uh, and when you create passwords and, and PIN numbers for your accounts, use random numbers. Don't use your birthday or everybody wants to use your name, birthday, yeah. your kids' names, your kids' birthdays. Come up with something unique and random because thieves will target those PIN numbers also. Um, and then never give personal information out to somebody you don't know. If somebody comes and knocks on your door 
and they tell you they're from the government or the police or whoever and they need your information, ask them for proper identification. If it's somebody who's not wearing a uniform and you're just not sure, call the police and have us come there and verify them. If they're for real, they won't mind that we come and verify them. And that also goes with the phone. Don't give out your information over the phone if somebody calls unless you know who it is. And then is there um, anything to share about, you know, safety for the community or is there any advice that you have for, you know, of course, for the Burmese people? Well, certainly. Um, like any community, look out for one another. Um, form strong bonds with your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Um, with your local business owners and everybody watch out for each other and uh, you know in just remember that it's a partnership between you and us the police um, we need you as, as much as you need us at times you know so uh, never be afraid to go up and talk to an officer if you're having a problem or to call the police if you're having a problem that's why we're here and we're here for you um, now I do also have some information if you've been a victim of identity theft kind of sorry, yeah, sorry to circle sure. back mm -hmm. but um, through the attorney general's office on top of making a police report be sure you report that to them mm -hmm. and I have a brochure here that I'm gonna leave with you guys um, to kind of give teach you you know some other things that you can do how to prevent and reduce. how to prevent and what to do in the unfortunate event that you are a victim of it and also um, we have one more question to ask you when to call 911 and when not to call 911 and is there any fees for you know calling 911 there are absolutely no fees for calling 911 that's what we're here for and it's, it's a good point to bring up I want everyone to know that we're here for you we're here to you know serve and protect is kind of how how we are what we say and uh, we're on your side don't ever hesitate to call 911 it's it's hard to remember you know the number 327 3811 is our non-emergency number to call the police department but if you've been a victim of a crime go ahead and call 911 if the 911 operator feels like you should call the non-emergency number they'll give you that number at that time to call 